Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my sunglass collection. Um, over the past few years, I've kind of accrued uh, several different styles, and we're looking at different price points here. I understand like when you want to go and buy a new pair of sunglasses, and they're kind of expensive, maybe you'd like a little bit of a feedback from someone who has owned them and worn them as to whether or not they would be worth your time, uh, your money, to go and purchase them. This actually was a video recommendation from one of you who said that you loved a pair that I recommended and that you'd love to see all of them on my face. So I thought, you know, this might be more helpful not only to see the sunglasses and get my opinion, but to see them on my face. So for reference, my face is a little bit more narrow. I don't have a huge head, um, so keep that in mind too when you're buying sunglasses that it might look good on somebody else, but maybe it won't look good on you. So just so you know, I do have a small head. So if they look large on me, they might be more proportional uh, for someone who doesn't have, you know, or has more of like an average size head or a larger head. Um, that sounds awful, but I want you to know, you know, what we're working with here. And so let's jump right on in. If you are new and just stopping by, please hit that subscribe button. It is right below here. And if you'd like to be notified of every single video I ever upload, hit the bell. It will ding-a-ling and let you know when I do upload so that you can head on over and watch it. Um, also, follow me on my Instagram. Um, I, you will see these sunglasses, um, literally all of them styled in an outfit somewhere. I have worn all of them um, in several outfits. And so follow me over there if you'd like to get outfit inspiration. And then I also have Twitter and Pinterest and all that good stuff. It is always in the description box. So I think I'm going to kind of go in order of styles as far as more casual to maybe a little more classy, elegant, dressy, that kind of thing. So I'm going to start off with a absolute 100% recommend these. They are foolproof. They are outfit proof. Um, they just go with everything. They're easy. They can take you from casual to evening. They come in several different colors, several different type lens. Um, there's some gradient lenses. There's like reflective lenses. And I'm referring to Ray-Bans. These Ray-Bans that I have are the smaller sized um, Ray-Bans. I do not have the regular size, which I cannot remember what the millimeter measurement are on these. So these first ones are the gradient lens with the blue, and then they are the gold frames. Here's what the case looks like. I love these. These I wear a lot when I'm doing something um, maybe a little bit more colorful. When I wear blue, I always reach for these. You don't have to match your sunglasses to your outfit by all means. Um, but I just think that these are a little bit dressier because of the gold. Now you can get these in gunmetal. They also come in brown, uh, like bronze colors. But these ones, as you can see, have the blue gradient. And I just think they are beautiful. So the, uh, keep in mind, these are the smaller lens. A regular, the regular aviator lenses on me come down to about here. They just look clearly way too big. But my face is also petite, so... I love these. I think you cannot go wrong with a pair of aviators. They just, they're easy. The other color that I have are the gunmetal, which to me is so, it's like black, but it like a softer version of black. So here are, these are filthy. Wow, I need to clean these. Um, these are what the gunmetal ones look like. They have kind of a, it's like a gray gradient lens. I don't know what it is about gray this year, but I have just fallen in love with it, like a charcoal gray. It, it's, it's like my new black, and it's just like a softer version of doing a black. If black is not something you love, maybe try the gunmetal. It just, it's easy, it's effortless. These look fabulous with a black leather jacket. Um, they look equally fabulous with just a black t-shirt or a white t-shirt, or even like if you're going to wear like, you know, a darker colored dress or something. I think that an aviator you can wear with the little black dress if... It just kind of sasses it up a little bit or just easy, foolproof, go with everything. And so definitely would recommend getting a pair of aviators if you have not yet tried them. These next pair were my second ever higher end sunglass purchase. Um, now keep in mind a few years ago, I was like, I will never spend money on expensive sunglasses. Like, why would you ever do that? That that was me. I was sitting over here, you know, being judgmental, saying things that I shouldn't be saying. And I get it now. They're, they're definitely an investment, but think of it like, like a handbag or accessories. Like Everyone can get dressed and wear, put on your basic t-shirt and jeans, but it's the accessories that create 
what would be an outfit? What, what makes it different from somebody else just wearing a t-shirt and jeans? It's the accessories. And for me, now that I live down in the South, and it's sunny a lot here, um, I wear sunglasses every day. Every time I am in my car, I have my sunglasses on. So these were the second pair that I picked out. And these are Cat Eye. They're by Ralph Lauren. And you can find similar styles. So like if like the Ray-Ban's Ray-Ban, right? Um, but some of these, I don't know if these exact ones are available, but I will link similar styles by perhaps other brands or maybe he still makes this one. But what I loved about these was that it's a cat eye, but the color of the frame is actually like a leopard. Like a soft leopard. It's almost like a clear and a brown. I love the little added gold details above the lenses here. It just dresses up the sunglass just a little bit. Now the side you have also just a little bit of a gold detail, nothing too crazy, nothing too like, I don't know. I like a really classy sunglass style because that's my personal style. So it matches with me. I don't have a lot of quirky out there sunglasses because that's not really me. But that's also the fun aspect of sunglasses is that Find things that suit your style. You know, everyone has a style. So find things that suit your style. For me, it's all about a classic lined sunglass, things that are really timeless, um, effortless, uh, go with lots of different things. But I love the cat eye, and I love that they're just a little bit of a pattern without being obviously a pattern. Wait, that made no sense. That was, th sometimes I say the dumbest things ever. Sticking with classic, these are by Kate Spade and they are the Giselles. These to me are just a perfect pair of classic black cat eye sunglasses without a lot of frame. Just very simple, clean lined. I love the little gold accent on the side. It kind of commits you to a metal a little bit, but not too much. And it is absolutely okay to mix like gold sunglasses with a silver belt. I do it, I think it's okay. Um, I think fashion is whatever you want it to be. You create your own style and you rock it. As long as you are confident and you love what you're wearing, it sh that shines through more than even the outfit, really. I mean, you do whatever it is that you love. But I love these, they're just classic. They're by Kate Spade. Kate Spade makes a very affordable sunglass. Now some, you know, it's kind of knockoffs of a more luxurious brand, um, but that's okay. You know, not all of us want to spend $500 on a pair of sunglasses and that's, I mean, if you can, do it. I mean, if you find something you love, get that. I, for years, for years, I, I've just learned this. I've wanted certain things, right? But they're out of my price point. So I always would just spend money on knockoffs and I was never really happy. So my advice would be, you can't get the ones you really love, save and wait, because that's what you actually want. Don't just try to get like, waste money getting cheap stuff, you know, that you don't like. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I don't want to sound like, it's not a snobby thing to say. It's just that wait and get what you really love instead of just always, you know, what's the word? Settling for second best. Okay, I love these. I love these. These are classic. They're black. They go with everything and they're affordable. These are the Janelle by Kate Spade, and these are going to be more of a square sunglass on the face. I love these because they come in different colors, but these have black and brown and almost like a blush mauve color to them. Check these out on. Aren't these just cute? So this is a great way to kind of start to delve into a little bit of color without being like a lot of color, just a subtle amount. I still think they're definitely in that neutral category zone when it comes to sunglasses. They're not so much of a statement piece, but they definitely add to the outfit. I mean, you can really see like you go out, look like this and you have makeup on and stuff, but look how much of a difference the sunglass. It just like adds to the outfit instantly. Um, and sunglasses are one of those things that you need, you know, you need sunglasses to protect your face. And honestly, sunglasses really do help with, you know, sun damage around the eyes and that kind of thing. Um, and your eyes, you know, you want to protect your eyes from the sun too, especially if you're out, like working outside and that kind of thing. Um, but Kate Spade makes really affordable sunglasses. So if you like these styles, I definitely recommend them. Um, she makes a lot of really cute things. I have another pair of just classic black cat eye sunglasses, but I love a cat eye sunglass. It just fits my face really well, but I love a black because, I mean, you can't screw up black. These are by Marc Jacobs. 
Once again, he makes more affordable sunglasses as well. I'd say the Ray-Bans, the Marc Jacobs, and the Kate Spade, well, that's pretty, the Ralph Lauren's were pretty affordable too. Um, just, you know, great ways to get those designer sunglasses without spending a ton. But I love these. These have a little bit more frame. They're a little bit more round and bubbly. Um, so I, that's what makes my justification of the Kate Spade ones that I bought uh, because those are a little bit more sleek. These ones are a little bit more frame, a little bit more going on. They're not a super exaggerated cat eye. They're still very sleek and very classy and elegant. I love to wear a black cat eye sunglass when I'm dressed up, when I'm wearing a skirt, when I'm wearing dress pants, when I'm wearing a blouse. I love it. I love it. Or even just today I'm wearing a turtleneck. They just look very, just, I don't know, classy. These have a little bit of a silver accent here on the side. Now these particular ones are an older style, but I will link what I can find. I think I've seen these online, a version of these still, so I will try to find what I can. And everything that I talk about is always listed below. There's a little bit of a theme here, but I love what I love. And that's totally okay, too. You love what you love. Maybe you love quirky sunglasses and you have a bunch of them, but how fun is that? I actually feel like I need to step out of my sunglass box and get myself a fun pair this year. Maybe that's a new goal of mine. But I found these by Marc Jacobs. These are definitely a little bit more of an exaggerated cat eye, a little bit sharper, but I love that the lens on these is like, instead of being rounded or square, it's like, Look at this, it just really cuts in. It almost like contours your face a little bit. These are a very dark chocolate brown. They came in other colors, but I didn't have a dark chocolate brown. They're almost a dark chocolate brown tortoise, but very subtly, it doesn't scream tortoise. Um, and then they have a, these cute little, like, you see those little details right there? How cute is that? Just not too much. But they look like butterfly wings and they fit my face really well. And so I had to have them. <laughs> I want to say these, I got these for around $100 or so, and I think $100 is, that's a good price point for a quality sunglass. You know, I just, I think that's, that's, that's workable. I can work with that. I can do that. I haven't been showing you, but all the sunglasses come, like when you purchase nicer, higher end designer sunglasses, they all come with a case and they all come with a lens cleaning cloth. So definitely worth investing in um, I designed just for this sake because you buy cheap sunglasses they don't come with a case <laughs> and I don't know how many of you and including myself have either sat on your sunglasses forgot that they were in your purse and squished them but when you have a case it's hard you don't have to worry about that so now we're gonna move into definitely a, a higher price point um, these are a pair of Tom Ford's I actually got these a couple years ago at the Nordstrom anniversary sale so that would also be a good time to maybe look at getting yourself a designer pair also check Nordstrom rack um, I think Holt look too those are all other options uh, to maybe get something you've had your eye on and you know sometimes if you wait long enough the pair you've really been wanting goes on sale and so that was the case with these these are the Miranda which they still make these. Now this particular style is a few years old, but they do have the current updated ones uh, available. And what I love about these is I love the little cutout on the side. So they have a gold frame. These lenses are like a brown gradient, which matches my hair oh so well. I was slightly disappointed that the case on this one is squishy. It's not a hard case. Um, I've seen the newer ones, it is a hard case, so I don't know why I got out of luck in that one. Um, but I like these a lot. I love the twist detail. They're very elegant, but yet they're definitely a little bit kind of like an aviator style where you can still wear them casually, but I thought the gold dressed them up a little bit. So, I mean, I'm either casual, like really casual, like just rolled out of bed kind of style, or I like to get dolled up. So I don't really have an in-between or like either or. So I thought these would work with my t-shirt, no makeup, but they'd also take me out with, you know, a little bit a little bit more of a dressy outfit. I have a pair of Givenchy that I just was absolutely smitten with. I saw them, you know when you see the sunglass, you're, you're, you're attracted to them, right? And I'm like, I wanna try those on. I tried them on and I was like, I'll take them, <laughs> I'll take them. So these are a little bit flimsier. Definitely a very lightweight sunglass. I think you need to handle these with a little bit more care than some of the other ones that I have. They're not plastic. They're the wired frames, but definitely flimsier. Just know that. Um, but look at how fun these are. I thought these were just so glam. And I, I love that they're just, 
they're a little bit more oversized for my particular face. Like this is like max oversized that we can do. But I love that the lenses are like a rose gradient. So pretty, just very pretty and chic. And almost a little bit of a 70s vibe maybe. What do you think? I was thinking a little bit retro. I love retro, I love vintage. So these are by Givenchy. I don't know the name, but they, they were like style 7004 or something. And the last pair that I have are from Burberry. And I love, I really enjoy Burberry. I love their, I love their makeup. Someday I would love to own one of their trench coats. Oh, I die. Uh, but these are the sunglasses and these are wonderful. So these are definitely a uh, square, are they square? Yeah, these ones are square. Ugh, they're so good. They're brown. They're kind of like a slight tortoise too. But you know what, I like that tortoise material. It matches my hair. <laughs> Has a little, a little gold detail right here, just a little something. And these don't have a gradient lens, they're just like a brown. But oh my gosh, I put these on. But I just, ugh, so, so me. So that is going to do it. That is my current collection of, I say designer because they are designer sunglasses. They're not just something you can pick up at Target or Walmart or that kind of thing. But I hope you guys found this video helpful. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you found a pair that you'd like to have. Um, if you enjoyed yourself and you've watched this far, give this video a like and um, subscribe. Please subscribe. I would love to have you here. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll chat very soon. Bye guys.